All right, here we go. Question 26 from our pre-calculus homework number one in my lab math. We're going to have to click and launch the interactive figure. And then it says check show plot, function value, and grid lines boxes. Once we have all three of those selected, it then says use the interactive figure and find your answer. Now what do they want? Find the value of f of negative 4. So according to this function, this piecewise function, to find f of negative 4, since they give me the graph, notice that when x is negative 4, the graph does not actually exist. So we're going to have to say that f of negative 4 has no value because it doesn't exist on the graph. Part 2, find the value of f of 4. So again, back to the graph, if I go to where x is 4, I see that the graph exists at a height of 1. So remember, f of x means y. This is saying when x is 4, what's y? And the y is 1. Next, find the value of f of 3.5. Now this is a decimal value, so 3.5 would be somewhere in here, which looks like it's going to be about 1.5, but I need to know for sure. So I think what I can do is I can drag this slider over, there we go, and it's going to give me ordered pairs on the graph. All I need to do is slide that over until x has a value of 3.5 and that tells me the y value. Now notice that this graph is also color coded which illustrates that the top piece is the green portion of graph, the yellow piece, the middle piece is the yellow portion of graph, and the purple piece here would be the purple portion of graph. We can also see that 3.5 is greater than or equal to 3, so that's why this point falls on the bottom piece, because the value of x is within this inequality. And so if we plug in 3.5, we're going to get 1.5. So here we go, f of 3.5 is 1.5, that should be the function value. And for the last part, find the value f of 1. So again, back to our interactive figure, oh my gosh, this is super easy. When x is 1, y is 4. We can also see that from the uh, piecewise function, 1 is between 0 and 3. And for any x that is between 0 and 3 here, you're going to have a y value of 4. Notice that that is the constant piece of the function. And so again, this is going to be freaking easy. That's just 4. And that's going to do it for this particular problem. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.